I thought it was fantastic. As yeah. a matter of fact, to me, it's you knew it when Castellanos caught the ball. Yeah. Because there was no jumping up and down. It was, I caught the ball. We're going to do our regular thing. We'll have a little little powwow in the middle of, middle of the infield and jump up and down. They take their pitcher. Now, now they can drink some beers, though. Yeah, and, and that's it. I mean, no big deal in the clubhouse. No goggles or champagne or anything. Yes, sir. Here's Topper. All that's left to start the party is Rob Thompson to uncork his champagne and offer up a toast. You'll recall the other night when they took the playoffs and clinched the spot, it was just champagne glasses. Now they got the whole split. So uh, this should be something as we listen to Topper toast his team. And the guys will be all in, you can be sure, as they are ready with the goggles. They are ready with the champagne. I'm having a little trouble with the champagne. I'm a beer guy, as Rob Thompson, he does. I hate to say every year because it makes it seem like old hat, but it has been the last three years. This is the first one, though, where they claim the division. Here's Topper. Let the eyes burn. We got everybody? <laughs> First of all, we can't do a countdown, but JT, you got the day off. <laughs> I want to say congratulations to Schwab on 100 RBIs. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Wow. Hey. Want to say what a player! Congratulations to Trey on 254 hey. doubles. Hey. Is that Trey? When we entered the playoffs, they said it was very difficult to get here. And to win a division is even more difficult. So congratulations on that. Uh, we still got some work to do, though. Okay, we still got some work to do. We want to get that five. That's very important to us. So I want you guys to party tonight. But uh, be ready to come here and play them. Now, last thing. I brought John in here. John, come on over here. Awesome. Remember in spring training, the man said he wants his trophy. Oh, that, he oh, said we're going to get it. I want my friend. Fucking yeah. Yeah. introduced him to the players and you heard the sound of corks popping throughout the clubhouse as Rob Thompson was making his toast and he did say hey our work's not done we want to get that by be ready to play tomorrow he said I don't think it'll be a problem Ricky Bo you know they look like they're very tame oh, I'd be able to pitch all right tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> I'd be feeling pretty good, as a matter of fact. All those aches and pains will be absolutely gone. Absolutely. Look at, by the way, Stubbs in new overalls, by the way. Well, you, you have to have those. There he is. And, and we, we talked about the grit to this team. And, and let us recall 64 games into this season. They had just finished the first game in London with the Mets. 
and that led to a JT Real Muto injury, and that led to, frankly, an epic slide for this Phillies team. The next 55 games, that's a third of the season plus, they went 24 and 31, and we were all worried as all get out. You know we were. And they righted the ship on August 13th. That was their last loss. And then they ripped off four straight wins over Miami, Washington, and they, uh, they had a rough time with Atlanta, too, coming up. But they managed to put the wins ahead of them and the losses behind them. And here we are on September 23rd, the Phillies, the division champs, Rube. Pretty special. It's very special. There's no, no feeling like it. Uh, unless they win the World Series, um, obviously. But uh, I, you know what? You have to give a lot of guys a lot of different uh, credits because uh, this is a t total team effort. They had a ton of guys. I don't know what the final number was on all the players who actually played in a game to get them to this place. But there was a whole bunch of guys who had to come up and step forward when they had some injuries, when they had a whole lot of things happening to them. Um, and, you know, they held off all the uh, all the naysayers, and, and uh, they did their job. He brought, he brought up a great point. I mean, you think about some of the names that have come up this year. Weston Wilson, how about his cycle this year? I mean, you, you, certain things you wouldn't forget. Cody Clemens, he came up clutch multiple times late in ball games for this team. Cal Stevenson going over to center field wall to rob a home run. It's not just the superstars. I mean, this is a team that was probably made up of closer to what, about 40 to 45 guys this season? And I don't like to include Edmundo Sosa. He took over as shortstop. Everybody thought that the Bryce's stop was going to slide over and play short. Well, he stayed at second base. Edmundo Sosa stepped forward when Trey Turner went down with the hamstring injury. I mean, that's an MVP-type player. And Edmundo Sosa stepped forward and had a heck of a did a heck of a job uh, in his stead. Think about the time that has transpired from 2013 till now and the names we were and the and the players we were watching in that clubhouse in 2011 Ryan Howard Chase Utley Jimmy Rollins Shane Victorino Roy Halladay Cole Hamels Carlos 